Okay, welcome back to the next video. Uh, this one I'm just going to explain uh, the best way to get used to changing chords quickly. Um, generally, the reason you, you're not doing it quickly at the start is obviously you're getting you're getting used to it. But people people then struggle even after uh, maybe a couple of months of playing to still get the, the changes quicker, and that's because you kind of always allow yourself this kind of break. <laughs> So you, you hear a lot of people doing that so straight away what you're doing is you're actually allowing that little gap in there so that little gap of silence is, is a big mistake as playing the wrong notes because there should be something there and if there's not it's it's a it's it's the same as, as playing something wrong playing nothing is the same as playing something wrong so what we're going to do is basically go back to the very first rhythm we did which is just going to be just one on each beat so one two three four okay and we're just going to take just two chords for the minute g and c uh, g to c and basically what you're going to do is with your right hand you just you don't stop your right hand so your right hand keeps going so therefore it's going to kind of force your uh, force your left hand to change quicker now initially you might get you might get a few things that, that kind of sound horrendous but uh, trust me eventually even over the space of doing this for just uh, four or five minutes, will actually you you'll find your your fingers going quicker because you're you're forcing to, them to allowing them that little gap in between. You're never going to get there any quicker. So, um, and just as well, it I think it helps as well if you can kind of visualize what your fingers need to do. I know usually at the start people kind of go from G and then they go C. They, they put the first, their second, and then their third finger down. Um, what you gotta try start doing as well is to get all the fingers you can see when I go to G to C all the fingers move together so the shape kinda just morphs into the next into the next shape so to do that if we look at G to C these two fingers which are like that they're kind of almost in the same shape they're kind of together here that they're actually they're they're on the, they're only there's no strings between them they're on the sixth string and fifth string whereas here they have the same shape except except the, the first finger has, has kind of spread apart from that guy so G to C there's that movement so that, that shape stays the same and then this finger goes from here on the G and he just jumps down over to remember down because it's upside remember top, uh, top string bottom string so when I say down I kind of mean up so I go down jump over two strings down to the fifth string so all that together and at the same time this little finger is just going to remove from the guitar so that and that's your movement so before you, you start this maybe just pause this video now and just do that movement a couple of times just to get in your in your head a picture of what you need to do okay so I'm gonna start the metronome and um, again I'll, I'll, I'm gonna stick around that 70 BPM mark um, and I'm just gonna do this exercise and so if you, if you can practice along with this um, might be a suggestion to, to, to download a metronome there's there's loads online to free there's even ones on website you can just click play on the website and, and select the different speeds or my, my best suggestion would actually go out and buy yourself one okay here we go so one two so I'm gonna keep this right hand moving the whole time so you might guess at the start things like this Eventually, all, all your fingers will start moving better, you know. Any student I've done that with literally within I usually do that for a longer time with them and, and generally by the end of the lesson they can actually change the chords quickly uh, if not they've definitely cut down um, you know the one or two second gap literally down to split seconds so the next chords the next two chords um, in, in the in the change would be G 
to D. I'm, I'm kind of using brown eyed girl here again. So we did G to C, so the next two changes are G to D. Um, so again, G to D, again, look for a finger that sometimes a finger doesn't move. So here D, this, my third finger on the third fret of the second string, he's, a, he's in the same place for G as well as for D. So if you can kind of keep him there, uh, watch what your first finger does. He literally jumps up over just just over one string, is it? Yeah, just over one string. And then it's your it's your middle finger that makes the biggest movement. He goes from the third fret of the sixth string right across to the second fret of the first string. So he does the biggest movement. So what I do when I'm moving these two fingers, I kind of imagine that this guy is pulling the second finger is pulling the, the first finger with him. So I don't really concentrate on the first finger. I just move the second finger and your first finger should just automatically move with it. So can you see that? And again, the other thing then just to remember is that G, you have your little finger on and then just to lift as you do that. So you get a nice one, two, three, four, D. So I'm just gonna throw on the, the metronome again. So like I suggest maybe pause this video again and just do that movement a good few times because if you can kind of picture the change in your head it, it all of a sudden becomes a lot easier when you actually start doing it on the guitar okay so I'll just do this for another uh, while and that, that'll be the end of the video So just, just practice that, um, it, it's a lot easier to do it with me, so maybe just fat, uh, rewind the video and, and just practice those chord changes with, with me. Um, so eventually then, the, the next step then, very quickly, is you've got your G to C and then you've got your G to D. So you just throw the two together, it's going to do this a little bit faster. So that's that. Then the next step then is you add your rhythm back in. So maybe just do practice the rhythm maybe just with G and C and then G and D separately. And then when you get the whole thing, you should get this. So three, four, and... through the song so it's a great exercise it really does um, get those chords changing so the, the most important thing here is keep that right hand moving because the second you stop your right hand that's that's allowing that little gap so if you keep the right hand going you're not allowing that gap and you're forcing your fingers to change quick you're forcing your brain to think harder and faster and eventually it will it'll, it'll, it'll all catch up with your so it's your right hand drives it all okay hope this video was very helpful to you